What's going on guys? Today we have a comment response video. This viewer has left me two, maybe three, comments on past videos. So this viewer really wants a fire design. We're gonna go ahead and do him a favor. We're gonna, we're gonna create a fire design for him. So even though Razer does have a stock fire effect layer that you can put on your keyboard, I'm going to create one myself and I'm also going to attach an audio meter on this keyboard. This will be my very first audio meter ever putting on a keyboard lighting design. I'm very new to it and what it's going to do is it's going to create additional lighting on your design when there's audio playing on your computer. So we're going to get into this design. Please remember if you like the video hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you see more keyboard lighting videos from me in the future. All right, let's get it guys. This is Embers. All right guys, so we're gonna start off Embers by choosing a wave pattern. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select all of our buttons, all of our keys and we're gonna choose a three tone wave pattern. In the middle, I'm going to choose a orange and on the left and the right, I'm gonna use a yellow light, just like that. I'm gonna split the first one, just like that. So everything else stays the same. You're gonna split and that's it. That looks good, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the upper half of my keys, and I'm going to click on my color gradient, and I'm going to make these a little bit darker. And I'm going to make uh, red my middle, and then I'm going to make my all sides orange. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the bottom half of my keyboard and copy that, and I'm just going to hold control and I'm going to select a few keys um, and they can be next to each other just kind of select a few random keys on your keyboard we're going to stay with the lighter colors though so you want to stay at the lower part the lower portion of your keyboard and I'm just going to change some angles and I'm going to change some speeds maybe go up to 22 something like that and everything else looks good. I'm gonna hit save. Perfect, and I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Click off, hold control, select a few more on the bottom half of the keyboard. Try and pick some that you haven't chosen. And now same thing, I'm gonna control V to paste that in. I'm gonna change the speed to about 25. Maybe change my angle over here to about 289. Just kind of randomize. And hit save. So now you can see you have a random wave pattern going in the bottom of your keyboard. That looks good enough for me for the bottom. So now I'm gonna go and do the upper part. I'm gonna copy the upper wave pattern. And same thing, hold control and go around and select a few random keys. Make sure you stay at the top part of your keyboard here. And I'm gonna paste. And I'm just gonna change some um, details, just like before. Maybe change some speed, make it real fast. That looks good, and I'm gonna hit save. Same thing, copy. Hold control and start selecting some keys here. All right, that looks good. Change some speed. I'm gonna drop this one down to like maybe 21, who knows. Uh, change my width to 95 because I can. Uh, change my angle to straight up at 90 and maybe unsplit it just cause and hit save. So that's all you need to do for the embers uh, flame portion of this design. Really pretty easy. And now I'm going to add the audio meter. So in the bottom left, click on audio meter. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just make some white spikes to go with audio to kind of represent like the, uh, the white flame. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control and I'm just gonna kinda pick uh, some pointy looking pattern that kinda represents the tip of a flame. Somewhat like that. That looks good. Okay, so there we go. And I'm also gonna choose my scroll wheel, just like that. So when you go to your color dropdown on the audio meter, I'm gonna choose just a two, uh, two color uh, pattern. And this first one, I'm going to make invisible. And the reason I'm gonna make it invisible is because when there's really low volume on my music, I want the normal pattern on my keyboard. I don't want it to change the pattern color. And I'm gonna make it invisible so you can see right through to your normal pattern at low levels. Now when the audio increases and gets higher, I'm going to have it change to a white color, just like that. So I'm gonna keep it right there and now I'm gonna play some music and kind of see what it looks like. All right, so now I have some music going and as you can tell, uh, my keyboard's not picking up the sound. So if it's not picking up the sound, that means you have your, um, your meters too high. So just drag them a little bit to the left and grab your white, drag that to the left. So now you can see it's starting to change the keyboard a little bit. So right here I think is where I like it. And you just, this is something you gotta play around with quite a bit. Each computer is going to be different with their audio uh, because each situation for audio is different. Different equipment, you get different results. So you'll just have to play around with this a little bit. So I think I'm good right here. I'm gonna hit save. So now you can see when I have audio on, it will light up with some white highlights. And that's all there is to this video, guys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. Also, hit that bell icon. That way you know as soon as I upload my next keyboard lighting video. Make sure you follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter. I always post teaser videos of my upcoming lighting videos as well as other things that I'm doing. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.